Hey Flo here, coming to you with another adventure. Got some weird colors out here today. It's be interesting to see how my color grade does on this stuff. This was an unplanned uh, stop. Actually, everything about today is fairly unplanned, though I have somewhat of a idea of where I might end up. But this, this boulder pile I spotted from the road, so I just stopped to explore it real quick. This isn't really where I was intending to go. And hopefully this will just be a quick stop on the way. A little bit concerned about my my Jeep. I don't know what condition it's in. Okay, so we could run into some pretty slick stuff today. There's some frost out this morning and I think what looked like black ice on the roads coming out here. I was trying to drive cautiously, but these rocks could also be kind of slippery. So I have to choose my steps carefully. A nice little shelter for something. Okay. Oh, so I'm still fairly far behind in editing my my videos as usual. Currently working on um, Take a peek, number 51. It's basically ready now. It's all the editing is done. I just um, actually left it at home rendering out, and it might even be done by now. I had about two hours left when I when I left. Okay. I'll upload that later today, probably. Let's see, what is today anyway? I don't even know. I think it's maybe the 20th, December 20th. Let me check that real quick. Yep. Almost 11 a.m. December 20th. It's kind of too bad I didn't get a slightly earlier start because there was some major fog out and although that would have been even more dangerous on the road it would have looked cool so I see a few boulders out there I don't know how many of them I'll explore probably just the ones close around here although there's one right over there that it's not too far away all right need to assign a number here since this I didn't have a marker on my map for this one, so I'll have to assign a new number. I'll call it B1349A. So I think from now on I'm going to go back to shooting in HDR. I mean it was a fun 
it was a f it was fun while it lasted shooting in log and color grading all that stuff I still have to color grade the HDR footage if I don't want to be annoyed because it's not very good color science out of my camera but um, overall I've noticed I like the the integrity of the footage when I shoot in HDR so I already mentioned that I think recently but I was looking at some stuff yesterday last night when I was processing number 51 and I'm just yeah I'm definitely coming to the conclusion that that's what I want to do whoa this is very slippery whoa that whole rock moves Only, um, actually there's at least two disadvantages of shooting in HDR that I'm aware of. Could be others, but, um, first off it, it shoots in 25 frames per second instead of 30 when you shoot HDR, um, which isn't that big of a deal. People that use PAL will be used to that. But, um, the other thing is that, uh, what is it, what was I gonna say? Oh, they always warn you on this camera, whenever you're shooting in HDR, they say it's not intended for action shots where the camera's moving around a lot. So, whatever, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I am moving around, I'm hiking, but I'm not like moving fast, so I don't know. But that's just a an opinion. It's not like you can't do it. It's just may not look how you hope. Okay, so this will be B thirteen forty nine B. All right, if there's any. Uh, if there's ever a pile of boulders or a hike that should be short, this should be it. Unless I keep seeing more stuff. I think I'll mark some of these boulders just so I can show that this is a larger area. Not just one point on the map. But yeah, if I had gotten out earlier that fog or mist or haze, whatever, would have looked pretty cool, especially with the sun peeking through it. But, oh well. Okay, this is B1349C. Another reason I need to try to keep my videos as short as possible is I'm running out of card space and I don't really have any space on my hard drive. I'm like really full up so the shorter the videos I make the better in that sense. One, three, four, uh, B1349D I think that's the number I was on. see a little bit remaining of the fog just kind of lifting off the ground in the sunlight but it's pretty much all gone it was really heavy this morning though I stopped on the way to get a little breakfast treat um, so had I come here straight away I probably would have still seen some of the fog but I stopped for a while. And this stuff is very slippery. Okay, B thirteen forty nine E. Ooh, a good footing. Okay, here we go. Alright, 
Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, there's some more boulders down there. I'll go check those out. And keep an eye on my lens. I can see that there's some drops coming down. I'm assuming those are all coming from trees. I don't think it's raining. Lighting's nice though. Hopefully some of this contrast and glimmering wet stuff shows up a little bit. Alright. B1349F. check out that other boulder that was a little further away. Oh. <laughs> Walking stick just sank really far into this pine needle soft stuff. Oh, that that uh, steam or whatever that stuff is pretty cool over there but I could just go hunt it down get a closer look but that's all right. I think there are some more boulders over that direction where the, the steam is still rising, but I'm going to keep it to these ones here. I guess I'll mark this little patch. It's not very tall, but still part of the same area. All right, we'll call this. Oh, crap. I definitely got some water on there, almost for sure. I'll call this B1349G. Let me check my lens after that little debacle. Actually, I see a couple boulders over there. I'll go check those out real quick. And hopefully that's it. Otherwise, i got to turn a blind eye to any other boulders I might see on the way. Unless they're really cool. I don't want to keep... Oh, they are cool. <laughs> I didn't see that one. That one's pretty big. I'll definitely check that one out. That one might be a challenge to climb back there to the right. So this might not be as short of a video as I would have hoped. Okay, we'll call this B1350A, or yeah, it's 1350. It's far enough away from all the others, it doesn't need a letter. Whew. My parents are coming over in two days. I'll stay over Christmas and a couple days after, I think. I'll shoot that water. Hopefully, it didn't go on my lens. So, I'll be occupied with hanging out with them for however long they're here. Let me and wipe my camera off just in case. I don't know if that got on there or not. Okay, so this other one over here, the smaller of the two, 
Romanian is. Wow, there's like a road right here. That's crazy. I wonder if that's on the map. Interesting. The smaller one I was planning to see to go to and then that huge one behind me I didn't even see till as I was approaching so oh, there's signs of human activity. Some kind of plastic container down there. Alright, call this B1351. Ooh. I'm glad there's no snakes in this area. It's something I just take for granted that there's no snakes. That's weird. The farther I come over this way, the more the mist goes that way. I wonder if that's an illusion, kind of like a a rainbow, like you you can never get close to it. It just keeps going off into the distance. Maybe like where I'm at right now, there's some of that and I just can't see it because it's, I'm in the middle of it. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> oh, this one's huge. Cool, it's a fire ring. So this must be an area that uh, people hunt regularly or something. I don't know what what the activity around here would be. Maybe some people actually climb these rocks like I am doing, but that seems kind of unlikely. I don't think people do like what I do much. Like people like pass this stuff by and think, oh cool, there's a rock over there. But I don't think most people would be like, oh, I gotta stop it, climb it all. Big old crack down the middle. Let's start with a smaller one. Interesting colors. Kind of a orange brown, almost like a, a reddish brown, like chocolate color. <clears throat> I'm hoping like really early next year to have a job. Man, I need a job desperately. I'm such in a bad ooh, financial situation. Oh. My parents are really blessing me, helping me out through this crazy transition, but I don't like taking advantage of people. Okay, so this is B1352A. So my hybrid approach is I like to put at least one mark for each group on the map that I explore. So they're easier to find later. And then I'll add the rest using a combination of GPS track that's recorded as I'm going along and then pulling out photos still frames from my 360 video at the exact points where I say the letters in the video. Number letter combos. And that tells me exactly where the position on the map is because I sync up the time from my video to the GPS recording. 
Uh, add more points to the map later. This saves a little bit of time, but it's a lot more work later though. I keep touching things with my camera. Get stuff on the lens potentially. Okay. B1352B. This is definitely. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Taking longer than I expected just because I'm stopping at all these unexpected places. Whew. This looks like a little more challenging to climb simply because these rocks are wet and it's not as great of footholds, but it looks okay. Three, five, two, C, I think. All right, let me check my lens. I'll just assume that there's something on there. Okay. I think this memory card I'm currently using is on its almost full. I think I have one more 128 gigabyte card left. Oh, that's slippery. Let's see, how did I get up here? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I do. I don't know, I guess that's one way to go. I could just keep buying more SD cards. I don't know what's cheaper. I think it would still end up being cheaper to buy hard drives every once in a while. To Every time I fill up a external hard drive, just get another one. Uh, I don't know. Not sure yet what I'm gonna do. Okay, now I think the biggest climb of all. Currently, my issue is I just don't have any money, so I can't can't buy any more storage. Be nice to be sponsored by a hard drive company or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I could accept any kind of sponsorship unless I completely already believed in the, the company and the products. I just I wouldn't like having to advertise something that I don't like really like or agree with or whatever. Just to have a successful YouTube channel. Okay, this looks kind of crazy if I'm being honest. It's not it's not so much the the slope or anything about it except that it's wet. I think normally it wouldn't be that bad. And there's moss on these rocks too, so could be a problem, but let's see what we can do here. Fully relying on that plant. <laughs> Glad it didn't break. Okay, let's see. This moss looks pretty cool, actually. Velvety. Oh, let's see if I can. Oh, I'll try getting up this, but it could be slippery because of the moss. Oh. I think I'm okay. Might go down a different way though. Whew. Okay. What was it? What are we on? I think it's B1352E. I'm just going to throw the E there. And I'll walk around the various sides, like over here, if I can get over here safely. Just to show the drop off if I can. 
without actually dropping off myself, hopefully. Okay, we're good. Let's redo that. Let's call this B1352E here. All right. I'm gonna find the safest way down. I think I might be done, so rather than showing my whole process getting down and everything, I might just end it here so I can save recording time. So I have some other adventures planned. Hopefully I'll make it there safely. Uh, so yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, Merry Christmas. I'm sure you'll get this message way after Christmas because I'm behind on my um, editing and Happy New Year, all that stuff. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.